Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 16. It is Sunday, so of course we got new position heroes and a new GT, which you can already see, which is Russell Wilson. Is it just me, or do we have damn near have like an infinite number of GTs this year? Doing GTs one by one, I promise things, these things never run out. I think we got 38 GTs, and we're not gonna be done with GTs until like freaking June, man. The middle of June. We have so many GTs this year. Russell Wilson! Already going for damn near the same price as Romo. Romo, that's a snipe for 710, baby. If I didn't have one, I'd buy it. Check out Wilson, 99 overall, 97 speed, 100 throw power, 96 throw deep, 95 throw short, 100 throw in the run, and 97 throw mid. I always like Russell Wilson cards, to be honest. I used them for a little bit last year. I used them for a ton this year, but this card, unfortunately, compared to previous GTs and probably even Brady, isn't that hot, man. Compared to Romo, I guess you can say kind of mobile, kind of a pocket pass. I mean, 89 speed, that's a mobile QB, right? Throw and run and speed, Russell's got him, but in my opinion, that's not really a deal breaker. According to the Mutt guys, Russell Wilson, 92 salary cap points. Romo, only 86. Compared to Manziel, no competition, no contest. All he has to beat in is awareness and throw on the run again. And I think Manziel has what a 99 throw on the run. So he only has him by one in throw on the run. Now, with that being said, Wilson could be seen as maybe a cheap, Manziel, you know, very mobile, very fast, very accurate. Now, position the heroes. Today, we got a Tyron Smith, baby. Another LT. We got three LTs this week, man. Lawrence Taylor, LaDainian Tomlinson. Now, we got Tyron Smith, an LT. 99 overall, 99 run block, 97 pass block, and 97 impact blocking. Yo, Tyron Smith cards, they're always loaded, man. This is probably easily the best left tackle in the game right now. Josh Norman just signed a big deal with the Redskins. Got the quarterback position hero. Check his stats out. 97 speed. 101 zone, 97 man, 96 play rec, 90 catch, and 99 press. I can't wait to see the legendary matchups between Norman and Dez Bryant. I think Dez Bryant is going to bully Norman. I really do, but it should be very fun to watch, man. Very fun to see if Norman can really stand up versus Odell twice a year and Dez twice a year. That's going to be very fun to watch. Pax Bundles, Ultimate Legend Pax, Ultimate Legend Bundles. Let's do the Pro Pax Shuffle, man. Pro Pax, I like Pro Pax now. One, Pro Pax, I always, I always give you more chances at golden tickets. But now, with that freaking salary cap mode, a lot of these silvers, a lot of these bronzes go for points, man. This guy has eight points to your team. I wish I could see his speed, but I already got his stuff to quick sell. But yeah, Pro Pax, man. If you really think a salary cap team, Pro Packs are definitely your friend. And my first salary cap team with Johnson, Calvin Johnson, Marcus Allen, Romo, sweet ass team, man. That team's kind of beastly in my opinion. I'll probably, I'll probably go undefeated with, with that team in salary cap and then start doing maybe some salary cap type squad builders if that's what y'all want to see. Also, theme draft champs. Dropped my first theme draft champs last night. Do you want more of it? What theme? Do you want to see? If that's something you guys are interested in, let your boy know, and I'll make it happen. MLB also coming back later today. Now, guys, in these packs, the main thing on Sundays we always hunt for, because the only thing we get are those position hero collectibles. If I could get cornerback number two, maybe even a left tackle collectible. Should be some coins, but I'm hunting for CB number two. Norman's going for right at a meal ticket right now. Pretty much strictly based off of his name. So if, if we could clutch out that CB number two, or is it CB number three? I'm not sure which CB it is, but if we could clutch out that Norman, I think it's CB number two. That would be very, very freaking clutch. Get our coins going back in the right direction, man. I haven't sold anything forever. I, I got a ton of GTs in my binder. Well, not a ton, but I, I got a few GTs in my binder, a few boss cards in my binder. It might be time for me to finally come up with a boss cards, but we got a boss Calvin, boss A read a few GTs. It might be time to just say goodbye, farewell, nice knowing you. To Calvin, I don't know. I don't want to do it because Calvin's done great things for me. He's been a beast, been a borderline glitch. But uh, I don't know. As I'm going broke, some, something has to go. Some things got to change. And I think Calvin's going to be the first out the door, man. Also, if Calvin out the door, I think we could do more squad beaters. I know we could do more squad beaters and theme teams in Mutt. And I'll probably bang out an all rookie team and try to do the season with that team, man. So yeah, I think, I think Calvin had a good run, had a good life cycle on the team. But I think I'm going to sell Calvin, man. I don't know why, but while I'm pulling these packs, I hear, I, I think it's, is, is it due to shuffle or due to the hustle? I just feel like I'm shuffling and I'm hustling through these packs. Yeah, I'm just trying to, trying to clutch out that Russell Wilson. Wilson, honestly, damn. I shouldn't even go that in on Wilson. I went in on Dez yesterday. I only put a few packs on video. I didn't really stream it, but I probably pulled, probably pulled about 30 to 40 pro packs of coins for Dez. No Dez for you, boy. Dez would have been so clutch, but w Wilson, I don't know. Wilson might not be worth going in on it since he only goes for like, I don't know, maybe 800k. I, I, th I, think, I think I'll go another 100k deep for Wilson, and then I'll just cut my losses and probably go buy that Tyron Smith, man. Probably go buy that Tyron Smith, 
probably sell my Dez Bryant. No, not sell my Dez Bryant. Probably sell my boss Calvin and my GT Deshaun Jackson. GT Deshaun Jackson, I've had him on the team for like a week now. He should be on the team. He's just impossible to freaking tell. Get you a D-Jax, baby. Max speed, 99 catch, yo. When I'm done recording this video, I'm going to post a D-Jax up for the Lolo, man. It's a solid card, too. Don't get me wrong. Very, very solid card. Once again, max speed. 99 catch. Your boy just needs the coins. <laughs> Plain and simple. We just need the coins. So I'm going to definitely send DJX's parting papers to get him up out of here. Next pack up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Michael Thomas. Marvin Lewis. Yo, the Bengals. The Bengals. Yo, how about the draft recap, boys? The Bengals. They got Andrew Billings. Andrew Billings was a first round grade talent, in my opinion. Now, I'm not that great of an analyst, but Andrew Billings from Baylor was a freaking stud. Dude's a tank. He He's strong as a freaking ox. Had a solid 40 for a man of his size and stature. They got Andrew Billings in the fourth round. I wish the Cowboys could have gotten me in the fourth round. The Cowboys did get the DT. The Cowboys DT runs a sub 4640. That's disgusting for somebody damn near 300 pounds. That's freaking disgusting. That's otherworldly. That's freak athlete speed for somebody damn near 300 pounds. So we got to get a DT. But Andrew Billings, I don't know. I think Billings might be the next sap. Like, he, he's a freak athlete at that size. With that being said, I'm not sure why he dropped to the fourth round. Because, once again, his talent grade was crazy high. But maybe this was just a deep draft when it came to DTs. Mdichki, he went super early to the... Who did he go to? Who did Mdichki go to? I'm not sure who he went to. But Mdichki went crazy early in the first round. And he really didn't have the most productive college career maybe he was in the wrong system but he's another freak athlete that went crazy early i don't know how billings went so late man i really don't andrew billings for the Bengals should be nice though man should be nice pairing him up with geno smith that's that's gonna be amazing another guy that twitter was talking about i can't remember his name but a baylor basketball player the cowboys drafted 6-8 they say he's a good athlete but honestly i can't i can't just guess somebody because they're a 6-8 tight end like some people are like oh my gosh the next calvin next antonio gates like that, that those are legendary guesses like legendary comparisons so i don't know i think it's cute it's fun if it works out it's neat if we maybe got a Julius Thomas S. Jim. Witten is getting old. We do need to be tight end, but at 6'8", can he even block at 6'8"? I mean, Julius Thomas couldn't really block either, so I guess it doesn't matter. But at 6'8", I don't know. It would be very interesting to see what he does at camp. And th this year, guys, I really think, I really think I'm just like, fuck it. Go to Cowboys training camp, vlog it up, meet some of the players. I think that'd be dope, man. I don't know. There's an elite. We got a Russell Wilson. That's pretty sweet. Just the wrong, Wilson. <laughs> I'm going to go, maybe that's a sign, probably not a sign. I'm going to go to them down to 550. I'm going to go to 550, and I guess we're going to call it a GG's. And thanks for playing. I'm going to take my tickets and leave. All right, guys, fun fact, as always, hope your packs are better than mine. And, yo, I will see you guys in the next one, man. And quickly, shout out to the homie Steve. Got his second GT today, man. This monster pulled GT Manziel and I pulled GT Russell Wilson. Kind of jealous, but shout out to Steve. And, yo, I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Take it easy. Peace.